everybody. Welcome back. Well, guys, in this video, we're going to be playing with a new toy out in the garage today. An Oregon 520 chainsaw grinder. All right, so the Foothills Trail Conservancy was so wonderful. They bought this uh, awesome chainsaw grinder for me to use to sharpen up our um, trail saws that we have. And, you know, in the past, we've been using this Granberg sharpener right here. And listen, the, the Granberg sharpener works great. I love it. But when you got, you know, three or four saws you need to sharpen and maybe you have one that's in really bad shape, that's where this thing comes up short. You know, you can spend all day trying to save one chain when you could just go buy a chain instead of, you know, spending four or five hours trying to sharpen up a really bad one. So, all right, guys, so we've got four saws sitting on the floor here. I'm going to give you a shot of those here in just a second. And there's one in particular that's really bad. And that's what we're going to really focus on in this video and try to show you where the chainsaw grinder shines, okay? All right, so let's look down here in the floor and check out these saws we got sitting here. All right, guys, here's what we got to work on today. We've got our four steel chainsaws sitting there. And there goes Hank, the old big dog. All right, so here's our saws. And they've been used now on a couple of different outings. And what we're going to do today is we're going to sharpen all four of them. But that saw that's closest to the camera there, the FTC number two saw, which is an MS261C, that's the one that's in the worst condition, okay? So I'm going to get it up here on the workbench, and let's get you a close-up of what I'm talking about. All right, now this is a really good example of what happens or what can happen sometimes during trail maintenance, okay? You know, the saw was run really hard, and it obviously hit a rock or something, it's got to be a rock that caused this. So let me get you real close down here to the teeth and let you see what I'm talking about here. All right, so this right here is a good example of what we're talking about. Look at this tooth here, okay? Look how the tip of it's beat up. And then look at this one. Look how beat up it is. Now I got to tell you, it, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's impossible to file that out, but... Buddy, you'd be here a long time trying to get that filed out. All right, guys. So this is exactly a situation where a chainsaw grinder is really necessary. And I was running into this more and more as we, you know, have different volunteers. Hey, Hank, come on. As we have different volunteers, you know, using the saws, and some of them are more experienced than others. They're all, you know, certified, but that doesn't mean they have a wealth of experience. Come okay. As old Hank, he wants to be in the picture. Good boy. So anyhow, we're going to take this thing off. We're going to get it all blown out and disassembled. We're going to get the chain out and get it in the grinder, and then we'll pick back up there. All right, guys, so we've got the chain in the grinder, and now what we're going to do next is we have to find the worst tooth, okay? The worst tooth on the entire loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my calipers out and we're going to rotate the chain, checking the teeth until we find the shortest, the most damaged tooth out of all of them. All right, so I'm going to get you in close so you can see that. All right, so we're ready to start measuring. We've just got our calipers here. And all I do is I just kind of pick a tooth and then move the chain. And I just keep tightening up on it until I... Oh, yeah, see that? That's pretty beat up. This in here may be it, I don't know. We're gonna keep checking. So now that we've identified the tooth that we wanna start with, the worst tooth, the shortest tooth, we're gonna to have to set the depth and adjust how much of the tooth we're gonna remove. All right, we'll do that right here, okay? And then the depth knob is on top up here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera back so I've got a little room to work, and I'm going to get set up for this tooth. All right, so we've got this thing now pretty well set up so that when the grinder comes down like this, we're going to come right in there, okay? And that's what we want. And what we'll do is I'll just inch up on it and just take little small cuts until we get a nice clean tooth there with all the damage removed. So that tooth there is pretty beat up, okay? It's got a big roll on it there, you can see. 
it's looking pretty rough so we'll see what we can do here let me turn this thing on better and we didn't remove more tooth than we needed to oh yeah she's sharp all right let me get you here see if i can't get uh, a couple of snapshots of that okay so what i'm going to do now so I'm just going to speed things up and I'm going to go ahead and sharpen every tooth on this side of the loop and then I'll bring you back, okay? So we got one side of the loop completely ground. Now we're going to reverse the angles and make a, a minor adjustment here on the depth because I don't know why, but when you reverse it, you have to usually adjust this just a little bit to get it back to the exact same depth as the other teeth, okay, on the other side of the loop. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to reverse the angle and adjust the depth, you know, the length of the tooth. I keep saying depth, but the length of the tooth, okay. We're going to adjust that real quick, make sure it's right and then we're gonna grind the other side. Now we're ready to get the grinder set up to start taking all of these rakers down to the correct depth, okay? So I've already changed the stone that's up there in the grinder to the, to the flat one. And now I'm going to take my raker gauge and we're going to file the first tooth, okay? So let's lay this in here. Get it set there. Yep, and it's sticking up just a little. First one there filed down and what we'll do is we'll set the grinder to that depth and then do all of them. Let's see how this other one looks here. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll loosen it. We'll flip this over. Click the stop over and I've already got it set. And now the grinder comes down and it touches the tooth. And you screw this down until it hits, okay? Plus, so maybe a little bit more. All right, so now she's ready. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna get you down low and not let you see these things as we're touching them off with the grinder. And it's just gonna take just a tiny amount off, okay? So let's look at the finished product we got here, man. You remember how those teeth looked before? Now look at them. Now look how good they look. Boy, they were all beat up. Terrible shape.
All right, everybody, we're all done sharpening saws for the evening. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back for the next one.